you all come to my channel let's go ahead and find the value of m okay now first let's divide true by what 4 to the power of what m okay 4 to the power of m if we do that we'll have 1 plus 6 over 4 to the power of m right since they have the same power you can actually put the two in brackets and raise them uh, to the power of m is equal to the same thing here 9 over 4 raised to the power of m okay so we have 1 plus, let's reduce this to its lowest term. When 2 divide this, you have 3. When you divide this, you have 2. So this same thing as 3 over 2 to the power of m is equal to the same thing here. This is the same thing as 3 squared over 2 squared raised to the power of m. All right. So this is 1 plus 3 over 2 to the power of m is equal to 3 over 2 squared raised to the power of m okay so recall that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is same thing as a to the power of n raised to the power of m okay so we can actually interchange this okay we can interchange their position and if we do that we have one plus 3 over 2 to the power of m is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of m squared. Okay? Now, we have 3 over 2 to the power of m, 3 over 2 to the power of m. So let's give it a an alphabet. So let 3 over 2 be equal to y. Alright? 3 over 2 to the power of m be equal to y. So if we say that, that means this equation becomes 1 plus y is equal to y squared, right? Yeah. Now let's rewrite this all because we just formed a quadratic equation. So if we write this, we have y squared. This will cross to become minus y and this will cross to become minus 1 is equal to 0. All right. Now, um... You, uh, let's use the quadratic equation formula that states that y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay? Now, in this case, our a is equal to coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Our b is equal to coefficient of y, which is minus 1. And our c is the coefficient, is the constant, which is minus 1. Okay, so if we should put this into this equation, we are going to have y is equal to minus b squared. That is minus minus 1 will give us plus 1. Plus or minus square root of b squared. That is minus 1 squared, which will give us 1. Much uh, minus 4 times our a is 1 and our c is minus 1. Divided by 2a, that is 2 times 1. Okay, all right, so we have y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1. This will give us minus 4, and minus times minus becomes plus. So we have plus 4 divided by 2. So this implies that y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Okay, so we have two values of y here, okay. The first one is that your y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And the second one is that y is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. So recall that our y is what? 3 over 2 to the power of m. All right. So we have 3 over 2 to the power of what? m is equal to 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Now, in this case, we have 3 over 2 to the power of m is equal to 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. But for the left-hand side, we are going to get a negative solution here. And once this side is negative and we are, ha we are half positive here, so it's not possible. There is no solution here. So, this place, no solution. Okay? That means you are going to concentrate on this side of the equation. So, 
What do we do from here? We have 3 over 2 to the power of m is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now let's introduce log because that is the only option I'm seeing here. So if we say log 3 over 2 m is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Okay, now let's continue from here. Let's continue. Okay, so this is what we have. We have log 3 over 2 to the power of m is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Okay, so we can bring this down, right? Because log a to the power of b, same thing as b log a okay so we can actually bring our m down so if we do that we have m log 3 over 2 is equal to what log 1 plus root 5 over 2 all right so let's divide both sides of this equation by log 3 over 2 divided by log 3 over 2 so if we do that, this we cancel this, we are left with m is equal to log, let me write it here. So we are left with what? m is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log 3 over 2. Now, Recall the law of log reading that states that log a divided by b is same thing as log what? a minus log b. Okay? Alright. So that means that we can write this that m is equal to log what? 1 plus root 5. Okay? Minus log 2. That is for the what? For the numerator divided by log 3 minus log 2. Okay, so m is equal to log 1 plus root 5. We give us what? All right, log of this using my calculator gave me 0 0.5100 minus log 2. Log 2 is what? 0 0.3010 approximately approximately to four decimal places okay divided by log three log three um is zero point four seven seven one and log two we've gotten that before okay so if we solve this so we'll have zero point five one zero zero minus zero point three zero one zero that will give us zero point uh, 0 0.209 divided by 0 0.4771 minus 0 0.3010 divided by 0 0.1761 okay now this is equal to like m is equal to we have 1.1868 1 approximately approximately this is what you are going to get if you press this in your calculator thank you so much for watching have a lovely day